Let's talk about actual and formal parameters. Parameters are an important feature of programming that must be clearly understood. They are used to pass information from one part of a program to another, a feature common to all programming languages and paradigms. And there are two main distinctions that are important for you to understand. First of all, the terms actual and formal are used to differentiate between the parameters in method calls and method headers. In another lesson, we'll talk about the terms value and reference, which refer to how parameters are passed. The actual parameter is a variable located in the parameter list of a method call, the one that passes the information to the method, like a person throwing a ball to another person. The formal parameter is the variable located in the parameter list of the method header, and is the one that receives the information, like the person catching the ball. In these two program examples we studied previously, we saw instances of actual and formal parameters. In the first method, Susie is the actual parameter, since it is in the method call, and string name is the formal parameter, since it is in the method header. For this second program, stop the video for a few seconds and think about it and decide for yourself which is the actual parameter and which is the formal parameter. OK, if you decided that x is the actual parameter and num is the formal parameter, you are correct. In this next example, there are three calls to the doStuff method, each with a different actual parameter, but each sending it to the same formal parameter x in the method header of the doStuff method, resulting in the output sequence that you see here. Learn and understand these two concepts. Actual parameters are in the method call, and formal parameters are in the method header.